Hi, welcome back to Sen 10, 10 minute mini workouts that you can piece together and use to make a full workout or just do them by themselves. Today we're gonna do a little stretch set and what I would recommend that you have is a blanket for underneath your knees. So the way that we're gonna start is just simply with that blanket on a surface, so hopefully it doesn't slide around. Come up onto hands and knees and then just take a couple of cat cows. Drop the belly, lift the chest on inhale and then tuck under on exhale. Do that a few more times letting your spine warm up a little bit, exhale, and find some rhythm with the breath. One more time like this, you'll inhale, lengthen out, and you'll exhale, curl, and then come out to a neutral position, and let's just wag your tail from side to side, and at the same time, the head and the tail move the same direction, and in the opposite direction, thinking of how you can laterally flex the spine is if you're drawing a line across the horizon with both the tail and the head, one more time each direction, just to get a little bit of movement, again, in the spine, in those vertebra. Now, come back to midline, kick your right foot out to the right, and then plant the palms underneath you. Strong stance in that right arm as you reach the left arm up to the sky, taking an inhale. And then on an exhale, thread the needle, dive it through reaching the left hand toward your right foot. Coming on up on inhale. And exhale to dive it through. And once more, come on up. And then exhale, dive it through and then stay here. Left side of your head and shoulder to the floor. Option to leave this hand here, this right hand, or thread the right hand and the left hand together. Or alternate option, you can grab hold of that right foot with your left hand, reach the right arm up, and then take a half bind. Let's take three or four breaths here. Relax the jaw. If you've taken a grip that creates tension versus just gives you a nice, good feeling stretch, just feel free to adjust. And then let's come out, reach the arm up, and then unwind back onto hands and knees. Take that right leg all the way up, swing it all the way across to the other side, plant the feet to the floor, and then again, do that little snake thing of the spine, stretching your right side rib cage open. Take a few deep breaths in that side body. One more round. Bring that leg and the hands back to midline. Now step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Press the hips forward, come into that lizard stretch, taking a few deep breaths here. You give your head a few circles if you want. And then optionally, plant the right hand, sorry, left hand down, lift your back knee, reach your right arm up for the twist, and then to amplify Amplify that side body, reach the arm overhead and really lift the rib cage. Let the left ear fall down toward the left shoulder. Big deep breath in that right side lung. Inhale and exhale. Let's lower that back down. Toe heel that right foot in toward midline. And then stretch the front leg to straight. Now, if you have a little bit more flexibility, you're gonna get a bigger stretch if you let that right heel slide a little further forward. Plant the left palm a little bit outside the mat, perhaps, and then reach your right arm up one more time to the sky, and you're gonna feel a nice stretch along that right IT band. If that's bothersome to the shoulder, just take that hand to the half bind or onto your lower back. Big deep breaths in for three and two. And one, set the hands down to the inside of that right foot and then swing that leg all the way up and around to the back. Reset yourself here. And let's go ahead and do those on the other side. So the left leg is gonna kick out to the left. Left palm plants down, right arm reaches up, big inhale. 
and then thread the needle as you exhale. Twice more. And going a little deeper as the body warms up. Press into the floor, lift the right arm high. And then exhale, dive it through. Again, you can find any modification with the hands that you need. You can grab on to the big toe with your right hand. Left arm could come up to the sky and you could take that half bind, really emphasizing that opening of that left side chest. Fill that belly, the ribs, the chest. One more breath here. Then take the left arm off the back if you placed it there. Unwind yourself. Plant the palms back underneath you. That left leg swings up and around all the way to the other side of the body. And then you're going to do that little lateral flexion of the spine, stretching open through that left side rib cage and waist. There's not a ton of weight on that right hand. So you're using the floor in the left hand as leverage to push you into that lateral flexion. Take one more breath here and then lift that left leg up, swing it all the way around to the outside of your left hand, press the hips forward and just enjoy a couple breaths in this stretch. Try not to collapse the chest and head down. Keep the posture going. Optionally, take the left hand onto that left knee and twist. Tuck the back toes under and maybe lift that back knee off the floor. Left arm can come up into that sky and then left arm reaches overhead. The ribs lift up, press into that left foot. Let the right ear fall toward the right shoulder and take a few deep breaths. Three. And two. And one. Gently come out. Toe, heel, that left foot. Back toward midline. And then straighten out that front leg. Flex the toes back toward you. And again, if you have a little bit more flexibility or if that's not a deep enough stretch, just take the left heel a little further forward. Then, so hamstring stretch, but then take the right hand maybe off to the floor. Just creates a little bit more of a tripod, a little bit more stability. Rotate and then lifting that left arm up. Optional or take that hand onto the lower back. Really emphasize that stretch in the chest, that opening in the left side lung. Three and two and one. Take that hand off the back, inside the left leg, and then swing that left leg all the way around. Knees to the floor. You need to take your feet out wide, walk your hands backwards, and now we're gonna pick the knees up off the mat and come into a little squat pose, dropping the heels to the floor. You can move this around a little bit. Once you settle in, palms pressed together, heart and chest lift. Take a few deep rounds of breath. Big breath in the belly, big breath in the ribs, big breath all the way underneath the collarbones. Just really settling into that stretch. One more breath right here. And then let the hands come to the floor. Push the knees out as you straighten up the legs. And then toe, heel your feet to a hip distance stance. And then ragdoll your body over your legs. You could grab opposite elbows here or just let the arms hang heavy. Close your eyes, take a couple deep breaths. Maybe take a little deeper bend in the right knee as you stretch the left. And then switch that out. Do it one more time. Last time. 
and then go ahead bend both knees deeply if you did grab opposite elbows let them hang keeping your head heavy start to roll your spine all the way up bit by bit bit by bit bit by bit roll the shoulders up back and down palms shine forward make a wish for your day thanks for playing